What's up YouTube or welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be speaking about having your partner's Juno in your fifth house in Sinistry. Great technique used to compare and be able to really explore the different dynamics between two individuals, birth charts. And one very important aspect of synastry is the placements of Juno in your birth charts when it comes to relationships because Juno is an asteroid that has to do with marriage, deep partnerships and is all about commitment. And when Juno is in the fifth house, it's going to show a very unique kind of dynamic and mixing of energies. The fifth house is all about romance, creativity, self-expression and dating and having somebody's Juno coming in here is going to be very revealing and very telling into a relationship and how it starts and how it goes. However, while it may be very telling and very revealing to have somebody's Juno coming into your fifth house, it can also be very helpful to also know the sign and be able to look into how the sign's energy is also playing into the dynamic with this person. Having Juno in the fifth house with someone is going to highlight a lot of things to do with creativity and a very playful and very lively connection to share with someone. It can be a lot of fun and for the fifth house person they can also feel like having the Juno person coming into their life is a reminder for being able to really take advantage of that side of life and be able to embrace the more passionate and playful side of the of life and take risks and be able to have fun and express themselves and within this relationship they can really feed off of each other's energy when it comes to these things and even the Juno person can feel more free around the fifth house person to be able to express themselves in an artistic way or to have fun and naturally they can be geared towards seeking the fun side of life or to seeking the enjoyment through this connection with the Juno person. And the synastry just brings the sense of joy between the two people and this feeling of lightness and sense of lightness to their connection. And in this relationship, when they're with each other, they can feed off of each other's energy and there can be this feeling of wanting to be able to embrace love with a more open mind and with a lot of enthusiasm and also being able to embrace the importance of enjoying life when they're together. They can almost be that childlikeness to it where they are open to being able to take risks and trying new things. One or both of them can have an adventurous spirit which is encouraging the other partner to be able to take that on and be able to expose themselves to that same openness and be willing to leave a comfort zone and kind of love like they've never been hurt before. They're not limited by any of those kind of things and they're willing to just step out of their comfort zone and so they're gonna get to know themselves and their desires and their passions on a deeper level and they're gonna come to understand what's really driving any kind of desires that they have as they are more open to being able to explore that in this connection and they can come to understand what makes them happy and what brings them the sense of fulfillment especially when it comes to in a romantic aspects of, of it and when it comes to their creativity and so they grow in a lot of ways especially around being able to tap into their more creative potential with each other they may even come to find that they discover some kind of a talent and some kind of a creative outlets through this relationship and they both can be the source of inspiration to each other in this relationship because even through their shared experiences although it's very fun and can be very enjoyable it can also have a depth to it and they can also feel like there's a lot of meaning that's being derived through it at the same time and for the Juno person the Juno person may feel a lot of appreciation and also admiration for the fifth house person coming into their life in this way. They can actually be very drawn to the fifth house person for their more playful and even 
just lively nature and they can find this very attractive and also very inspiring and they can also feel like the fifth house person can have a unique way of being able to find enjoyments in life or to be able to creatively express themselves in a way that the Juno person really admires. They can really like the fifth house person for the way they're able to uplift them and make them feel happy in such a unique way. This relationship can be a big source of excitement for the Juno person and the Juno person may feel like they are very connected to their fifth house partner especially through those light-hearted and fun moments that they'll have in their relationship with this industry for the juno person especially the fifth house person can have a way of influencing them to tap into their own potential and be more willing to be able to try new things and to step out of that comfort zone in a way that can inspire them to actually take more risks and get in touch with themselves and what they want and what they desire especially when it comes to the romantic side of what they want and what they desire. And actually with this industry, there's going to be a very strong romantic connection and the Juno person may feel a more heightened sense of romance and passion with the fifth house person, even though the fifth house person may be the one leading in this. But the Juno person becomes more open to being able to express their sense of romance and passion with the fifth house person and when it comes to their connection even in the long term it is one that never loses its sense of fun and is able to still balance commitment with that sense of fun because the relationship can be one that's very supportive of them being able to grow in a lot of ways even on a personal development level but also even in new and exciting ways when it comes to even preserving the romantic side of things in their relationship the sinistry the relationship can have a strong fun and playful side to it which can make both of them the fifth house person and the juno person really enjoy spending time with each other and it can have can be very exciting to be able to get the opportunity to spend time together. There can be a lot of romance and romantic feelings and a lot of passion in their relationship. It can be a source of taking them out of a comfort zone and it can also be very spontaneous energy that they have and feed off of each other in this relationship. And with the fifth house person, they can feel supported and also encouraged to be able to explore and find their talents in other areas like new activities that they take on and they can also find that they are supported by the Juno person when it comes to being able to pursue their dreams and their, their desires and their wants and the Juno person can be a very supportive to the fifth house person when it comes to these things which can make the fifth house person feel very appreciated and valued and they can sense that the Juno person is able to recognize their uniqueness and their creative talents and actually values them or likes them and cherishes them when it comes to these things that the fifth house person has but with Juno coming in here it's not just all fun and there can be a seriousness to their commitments or to their relationship as well and there's that desire for being able to to have something deeper and with this sinistry they can actually feel a deeper connection with each other and something more serious still exists when it comes to the way that they feel about each other and their relationship in the long term the fifth house person may feel like they can have something very meaningful in a long-term relationship with the juno person although there can be a shared value here with the Juno person of being able to have a balance of freedom and maintaining spontaneity and joyful moments within their relationship with each other. While at the same time, it may be important to be careful not to overdo it when it comes to it. Because when it comes to any kind of challenges that may come up in this relationship around this, it could be how the Juno person may be seeking a, a commitment that's deeper and more serious with the fifth house person and the fifth house person may be seeking to prioritize the more fun and adventurous side of a relationship with the Juno person which could lead to a challenge or putting their romantic expectations from each other in this relationship at odds creating some kind of a mismatch but they can make that work as the fifth house person and the Juno person balance each other out when it comes to what they bring into the relationship 
And the Juno person can be the one that's bringing more structure, especially around things to do with commitments and any kind of relationship that they're trying to create together. And the fifth house person can bring the sense of enthusiasm, playfulness or a light-hearted and imaginative approach to being able to do things and it keeps the whole process enjoyable and fun within this dynamic for both of them. And the signs for the Juno and the fifth house will matter and also be able to reveal a deeper understanding. For instance, if it is in Aries, it's going to be expressed maybe in a more fiery and adventurous way. And if it's in Taurus, there's going to be this deep sense of sensual and stable and indulgence and any of their creative pursuits are going to probably have something to do with some kind of beauty. Or if it's in Gemini and can have a lot of playful banter and exchange of ideas. And if it's in Cancer, there can be more of an emphasis on having a deeper emotional bond with a lot of love, with a lot of warmth when it comes to anything that they are trying to create. And in Leo, it can be especially more grand forms of expression and it can even be putting them in the spotlights in some way. And in Virgo, they can approach uh, creating anything practical and enjoy those kind of pursuits together. And with Libra, approach towards creativity and fun activities with harmony in mind when it comes to taking part in any of these together. And with Scorpio, when it comes to their passions or anything that they are starting and pursuing creatively or spontaneously, it's going to perhaps have a more intense feel to it. It's going to be more so like an exploring with some deeper reasons behind any passions, interests or pursuits. While maybe with Sagittarius, it can be something that's pushing the boundaries, but also allowing for them to have a lot of adventure, freedom, and with what they enjoy doing together, if it's in Capricorn, it can also be that it can be something more ambitious, something that's going to require more discipline when it comes to the way that they're tackling it. And when it comes to Aquarius, maybe it's something more out there and more unconventional and with Pisces it can be perhaps spiritual, artistic and with an element of compassion in some way when it comes to how it's making them feel or what's motivating them to tackle it. And that can be how they are deriving a lot of enjoyment and spending a lot of time together when it comes to the fifth house. Well, that does it for this video on having your Juno coming into your partner's fifth house and sinistry. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it helpful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Well, that is where I love and leave you. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.